Welcome, dear traders! Yesterday, used wedding floors were closed on the occasion of Independence Day. It definitely influenced trading sentiment in today's Asian session. Usually, Asian equity markets are quite sensitive to changes on a Wall Street. Asian stocks rose on Tuesday as investors focused mainly on the positive news. Upbeat economic reports and easing tensions in the US-China relations boosted optimism in the stock market after a recent sell-off. However, the risks of a recession and a sky-high inflation are still winding on market sentiment, restraining uh, demand for shares. The reason for the short-term rise was the news that Joe Biden is considering the possibility of a lifting some tariffs on China's imported goods in the attempt to slow down inflation. Apart from that, China's and the US officials have recently held talks. Vice Premier Li here and Finance Minister Janet Yellen discussed the macroeconomic situation, the problems of the global economy and delayed rail cooperation. Demand for risk assets also increased amid strong economic data from China. The services PMI index turned out to be better than expected. China's services activity grew at the fastest pace in almost a year. Japan unveiled positive macro stats as well. Japan's services sector activity expanded at the fastest pace in over eight years. A sharp drop in stocks is usually followed by a rebound. However, this scenario may not come true due to inflationary pressure, political uncertainty in the United States and other countries, rising commodity prices and supply chain disruptions. As seen, negative factors remain the same, so recovery in the equity market depends on the Fed meeting minutes, which are on tap on Wednesday. Traders want to get more clues about the future plans on the monetary policy. If the central bank keeps at a slowing in the monetary tightening cycle, it will be extremely bullish for stocks. In this case, a rebound looks quite possible. However, the meeting minutes may also indicate the likelihood of a 0.75 basis point rate hike as it was in June. Traders are now looking forward to, uh, to the release of the non-farm payrolls report. Given the worsening forecast for the US economy and the Fed's plans to cap inflation, the market reaction to this report may be quite predictable. If the figure undershirts the forecast, it will strengthen expectations of aggressive tightening and undermine risk appetite. If the region surpasses the preliminary estimate, risk assets could rise higher. Concerns that the economy may contract uh, because of a sharp increase in key rates uh, will ease. The US dollar is likely to trade without a clear-cut trend ahead of the publication of a crucial data this week. During the Asian session, the US dollar index was hovering around the 105 level. The index is facing moderate bearish pressure. It has made attempts to decline below the support level of 105 points. At the same time, there is also the possibility of a rise. In the short term, the US currency may try again to reach a yearly high of 105.80. Tokyo is concerned about a drastic force in the yen. Despite a recent attempts to rebound, the yen remains weak. On a Tuesday, Sasaki Kameda, a former chief economist at the Bank of Japan, said that the regulator may upgrade its inflation forecast later this month amid sharp declines in the yen. The Bank of Japan also needs to be alerted not only strong, but also a weak dollar against the yen. On a Tuesday, the US dollar asserted strength against the Japanese currency. The dollar yen pair gained more than 0.5% in the Asian session amid growing US treasuries, and the recent weakness of the pair was due to a correction. In the future, any downward movement could be perceived by traders as a correction. They still hope for an increase above 137.20, a high of September 1998. If so, the price may reach 139.
the target levels uh, allocated in the 147 and 155 zone. Today, speculators are closely following the movements of the OC. The Reserve Bank of Australia meeting was one of the main events of uh, this week. The main question was whether the regulator would raise the benchmark rate by 50 or 25 basis points. Not all traders factored in the aggressive tightening. It means that the Australian dollar had a chance uh, for a rebound. The Reserve Bank of Australia decided to take an aggressive step hiking the interest rate by 50 basis points to 1.35%. It's quite bullish for the Aussie. The regulator did not rule out further rate increases to normalize monetary conditions. Inflation in the country remains high, but not as high as in many other countries. The Reserve Bank of Australia will decide upon the size and timing of a future rate hikes taken into account fresh macroeconomic data and the prospects for inflation and the labor market. Today, the retail sales report was released. The monthly indicator was in line with the forecast reading of 0.9%. However, this report was ignored by traders who were awaiting the Reserve Bank of Australia meeting. The market reaction to the meeting was also somewhat muted. The RTUSD pair was almost unaffected by the sharp Q rate increase. So, the delayed uh, market reaction triggered a 20 pip decline to 0.6864, which was 0.05% lower than the opening price. Traders were disappointed by the fact that the regulator did not provide hawkish statements but gave rather general comments. There are other factors that undermine optimism fueled by the rate hike. For instance, investors are wary of currencies' correlation with the business cycles of the global economy. The RTUSD pay is unlikely to start a steady rally because of that. Thus, traders should brace for short-term rebounds. If the quotes rise, they will face 0 0.7000, which is the upper limit of the trend line. They are sure to slide down from this level. Now traders are looking for clues whether inflation has perked. Any signs of it may signal a more favorable state of the US and the global economy. Judging by market movements, the likelihood of sustainable recovery is rather low. That's all for now. Subscribe to our channel and keep your finger on the pulse. See you soon.